Today's Gospel, Sunday, April 16, is taken from St. John chapter 20, verses 19 to 31. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for the fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to them, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God, Jesus said to him, have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's faithful reflection is by Father Tony Lim Chaipo from Order of Augustinian Recollects and Brother Odi Romance of the Hand of the Sower, Catholic Community. Today is Divine Mercy Sunday. We often confuse mercy with pity. Mercy is awa, while pity is habag, sabi ng Pilipino teacher ko nung high school. But mercy is what God is all about. That is His activity in the world every day. Thus, we often say, May awa ang Diyos or sa awa ng Diyos. Because of God's mercy, many things are created out of nothing. Good things come out of bad things. His mercy creates something new. When we are merciful, we are moved into action just like God. We change the situation into something new and bring back joy, peace, light, and life. This is what God does when He forgives us and restores us from sin. It is not a one-shot thing. It is continuous. And because of His mercy, He assures us of His presence. In the Gospel today, we also see the event of Christ with Thomas and the Apostles. It would be easy for us to think or even conclude that Thomas was somehow a kind of ungrateful or maybe not a sincere Apostle. By his comment, I will only believe if I can put my hands or my fingers into his side, into the wounds of his side. He sounded bad. But if we look deeper and understand the situation of Thomas, we would probably appreciate him better. Si Thomas po ay taong nagmahal sa Panginoon at hindi niya madaling matanggap ang pagkamatay ng kanyang Panginoon. That is why sa sobrang pagmamahal niya sa Panginoon, nasambit niya yung maniniwala lang ako kung ilalagay ko ang aking mga kamay sa kanyang tagiliran. Ito'y pagpapakita ng pangungulila at pagkadismaya. That's the same with us. Ang atin bang pagmamahal sa Panginoon ay 
katumbas ng ating pangungulila sa Kanya na parang bumagsak ang mundo nang malaman natin na siya ay namatay. At matutuwa lang ako o magkakaroon lang ako ng konting saya kung siya'y makikita ko. After all, Thomas represents many of us. We always want to be sure of things. Sigurista kung baga, love mo ba talaga ako? Totoo ba? My dear brothers and sisters, ang Panginoon ay palaging nasa atin. He is always present with us. How I wish that all of us will be able to accept and realize at sasabihin natin sa Panginoon, My Lord and my God, kasama po kayo Panginoon sa aking araw-araw na pangungulila dahil hindi po ako magiging ganito kung ikaw ay wala. Let us pray. Thank you Lord for always being present with us in all our endeavors in all our activities. Salamat po sa pagiging Diyos ng buhay ko. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Take out for the weak. When we are merciful, we are moved into action just like God. <laughs>